Queen Vashti to come and entertain the many drunken guests. But when she is commanded to come, entertain his drunken guests? No way! I am the queen, not some cheap bluesy. I will not go. <laughs> not a good choice, Vashti. The king does not take no for an answer. She is banished forever. Good. And we will all be rid of them. If they don't follow our laws, of course we should be rid of them. Where do I sign? When Mordecai heard of the decree to get rid of the Jews, he went to Esther and told her that she needed to go to the king and save her people. She was afraid. It was not easy to go to see the king. You must wait to be called. So she came up with a plan. <coughs> oh, my dear king, I would love for you to come to dinner. Would you come this evening and bring your prime minister? Haman? <laughs> Of course, my dear. Of course. At the dinner, which was delicious, we read the incident about the assassination plot. The king was very impressed that Mordecai saved his life and wondered how he had been, how he had been thanked. When he found out that nothing had been done, he vowed to do something immediately. Amen. Amen. Come in. Here. Amen. <laughs> yes, your majesty. What do you think I should do to show great honor to a man worthy of a king's praise? Well, your highness, I would dress him in the royal, in the finest royal robes and sit him atop a handsome royal steed and lead him through the town announcing. He guards, guards, arrest Haman. <laughs> 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 so the Jews of Persia were saved by brave Queen Esther. Haman and his son were executed instead. Mordecai was made prime minister and the Jews rejoiced. <laughs> Oh, my God. 